I think one of the greatest mistakes we do as couples mm -hmm. is trying to transform our, our spouses mm -hmm. to be like us. Mm -hmm. Because Pastor Monone can never be like me, I can never be like him, but there is a way we can meet mm -hmm. in our thinking, in our emotions. So that being allowing him to be mm -hmm. is very very important mm -hmm. as we have said please it is important for you to allow your spouse to uh, to access your phone mm -hmm. this issue of saying don't touch your your husband's phone that one is is, is it may look fashionable mm -hmm. but it is not profitable mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. why would i not, not look why would pastor more not check my phone and vice versa he can go in and do anything he can even get a pesa if he wants and mm -hmm. vice versa mm -hmm. so these issues of putting passwords your phone is is a no go zone is already you are cheating mm. just ah. by the fact that you have put passwords you are already cheating because it is psychologically affecting your partner ask yes. them mm. are you comfortable can you ask your spouse are you comfortable with all these passwords I have put mm. on my laptop mm. my phone they will tell you no and if only that you have never discussed that mm. nobody would feel comfortable because if I can give you my body you know for sex mm. why would you feel that I should not uh, access your your pin, your what, all these things mm. on your phone, mm. uh, because why, what are, what is that that I'm doing mm. that I don't want Pastor Monene to mm. to see? So the minute you become open, just as Salano has said, mm. with bed, the minute you become open mm. with each other on everything, mm. the more you live a very yani a stress-free life. Mm. Any mistake, any mistake in marriage, regardless of the magnitude, be it mm. infidelity, mm. because me I can say after 13 years of, of, of marriage, we've been at a point whereby you have to forgive one another. Mm. But one thing that I've realized mm. is that you don't take anything so personal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, it's because we take it so personal, it's about me, I'm an ifani, I mm. have to deal it, with it like this. But sometimes some things you begin to look at the bigger picture. Maybe that person, there is the source of that thing. There is a healing, there is a problem with the person, or there was a problem in the marriage at that point mm. that created that vulnerability. Mm. So I think people should get out of this self-centered space where people are so entitled and they take issues so personal. Mm. I heard the other day a lady saying that, me, if the moment I just realize my husband or my boyfriend chats with another lady flirting, that is it. But I think that is just <laughs> being on a talking, living on finality. Mm. You know, life shouldn't be like you have to, to it is either black or white, mm. nothing in between. There can be a disagreement, there can be so, uh, yes. compromises. Yeah. So we need to make people understand that if some certain things happen, you don't mm. take it so personally. You need to ask. There could be situations around it. Mm. Secondly, mm. there is another thing that God says that we ought to forgive just as we are also forgiven. Like 70 times. Yeah. Seven. After it, every four seconds. Looking at it deeply is not as a big deal as it is. Mm. And when somebody you extend grace to a certain person, these people they will see love. Mm. These people will trust you. And these people may not tend to repeat the patterns. Yeah. Because I think there is how the energy of love brings healing even to that wounded soul. Mm. Yeah. I think what you've said, and we need also to know is that when we cheat, when I cheat on her, mm. both of us are hurt. Mm. Both of us both and, of and, are and, hurt. And, and, and I hate my past. Yes. And I don't want to be reminded about my past. Exactly. Yes. And I think when we discuss that part and then we've, we've reached a point of healing, mm. we should bury that past. Mm. This issue of me you now telling her that, do you remember that in the year 1906 you did this to mm -hmm. me and then you bring it back? Mm. It, I think that I'm hurting her, but this person is also regretting what they did. Yeah. No, 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 no one uh, goes around the sleep around, then they come happy now, he's now happy that now. Yeah. Mm. And then also, no one should tell you that. Uh, I slept with someone because mm. of you. Mm -mm. No. It's me who was always wishing to sleep with that person. Mm. Thank you. So you can't, I can't do that. Now you see, that day you don't give me sex, so I had to go and look for this one to sleep Use with. that as an excuse. She can never be the reason for me to sleep with that one. It's my reason, me, to think and say, let me go and try outside. Exactly. Which is now, we've talked about how forgiveness and all sort. Now, there is now this, you know, now rebuilding trust. Mm. Because it, it was broken at one point. Now, what measures can I put in place so that she can again, or he can again, gain trust that this person is not doing it again. Mm. Like now, uh, you, you, you give an example, you've seen pastor, 
walking the lead and they are holding hands. Mm. What cannot come in your mind and then you say that he's going to sleep with that though he sleep with that person. Mm. How what should pastor do <laughs> to make you now feel you are now free that you no longer feel that essence of judging him? Number one, mm. we need to have personal boundaries. Mm-hmm. Personal boundaries is uh, when you as an individual mm. has you you create your own self mm. boundaries of things that you cannot do with the opposite sex. Yes. Mm. You're getting that, mm-hmm. and I think that's what I have learned from my husband. Mm-hmm. My husband, he, he there is a, a joke. He, he cannot joke with with an opposite sex. Mm-hmm. No, even if you are the daughter, even if you are the worker, even if you are the mother, mm-hmm. even if you are the sister, yes, to an extent I will not. He won't. There's a boundary I will not cross. He doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. he's so conscious about mm-hmm. that. Me, I've learned that from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, I was very outgoing. Mm-hmm. I would hug everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, kind of. <laughs> because for me, in my mind, I would trust myself that there are things I can't do. Mm-hmm. Until when I, I started living with him, mm-hmm. I would ask him, you could not comment that and if there's something we do. The pastor has a, 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 a discipline. I don't know how I would call it. Mm-hmm. He has a boundary. That's the way, the way I would put it so yeah. someone can understand. Mm-hmm. He has a boundary. Even mm-hmm. when he's with opposite sex, mm-hmm. no matter what jokes you bring, mm-hmm. even when he is an expert in that, mm-hmm. you behave like he does not know. <laughs> 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 so that you guys can contribute. Mm-hmm. There is a language you will not entertain. Mm-hmm. He, he will even not hug. Mm-hmm. He will even put the hand like, you know when someone puts the hand? <laughs> yeah. you, can't you, you can't hug. You can't hug. <laughs> so I, I observed oh him you know, from a close range, yeah. especially now relating with opposite sex. Yeah. And I think that's where now me I bought from that. Mm-hmm. Because he would tell me, don't trust yourself so much. Mm-hmm. It is good to have boundaries mm-hmm. because you may trust yourself and find yourself into a problem yeah. in the name you trusted yourself. Yeah. And many people have gotten into sexual sin mm-hmm. because of trusting themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's just like ladies who say, Me, I'll go and sleep in that man's house. And he I will, will not, not do anything. Mm-hmm. Do anything. Mm-hmm. Even on the same bed. Even I cannot the same bed, you not do it. Mm. But you find at the end of the day, this man may overpower you. Mm. You get that? Mm. Or he may drag you. Yeah. you. And you find yourself, you know, being Things weak. Mm. So I think that's something that I used to ask him. Why are you so contained mm. when you're talking to opposite sex? And mm. for me, the opposite sex, me, hi, hey, how are you? Fine, you know? Mm. And then he told me, no, I don't trust myself. Mm-hmm. That's why I have put mm-hmm. boundaries. Mm-hmm. I think that's something that we need to teach yeah, every person. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Because when you don't trust also yourself, mm-hmm. that you are so strong and you are so energetic, you are so disciplined, mm-hmm. you are so godly, mm-hmm. you are likely the devil can time you in your trust. Mm-hmm. You see, you're not trusting in God, you are trusting in, in yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. And the arm of the flesh can utterly fail you. Yeah. That's what he told me. Mm-hmm. The arm of the flesh can, mm-hmm. can utterly fail someone. Oh, yes. So he started now be getting a bit contained. So mm-hmm. number one, you have to build boundaries. Mm-hmm. For example, if it is the other way around, don't hold hands, mm-hmm. yeah, don't hug so much. Yes. Yes. Because you are taking care of someone's heart. You, mm-hmm. your intentions may be right. Yes. But mm-hmm. because of this other person who is for the sake there, of them. For the sake mm-hmm. of them, mm-hmm. who is your husband or mm-hmm. your wife, mm-hmm. and you have a covenant with them, mm-hmm. then you have to be conscious. Mm-hmm. That's what we are talking about boundaries. Mm-hmm. So even if you are hugging, mm-hmm. as you as barely saying, you don't hang there. For 30 minutes, mm. you are talking. <laughs> you know, you do it very fast. Yeah. Yes. You know? Even you can do it on the side, but there's something you have done. Mm. Do it the way you feel mm. you are comfortable, mm. but don't prolong. Yeah. And take care of the other person. Mm-hmm. You get even body language. Mm. You know, there's a way I can hug you, and you can tell I don't have any affection with you. Mm. But there's a way I can hug and I'm touching you mm-hmm. and I'm cuddling you, and you're able to tell, I have to come in one minute oh, that is that is 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. There's some days called some We finish hugging and you're still holding your mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the opposite sex <laughs> is still in the same position. And yet you're not saying hugging. anything. Yeah. yeah, you see now. Mm-hmm. So, so, how, how is your husband? You're like, so how is your husband? <laughs> How is, how is home? And my wife is there watching me, and she's struggling with trust issues. Mm. The trust issues are mm. something that happened. So yeah. mm. boundaries are very important, mm. and that that one I've learned from Pastor Monene. Mm. And then allow your partner also mm. to tell you that I think in this area you are going, you you you, you are doing yeah, it. I know you are, it. I know you are. Mm. Your motive is right, my wife, my mm. husband. But mm. this when every time when you meet so and so, you always overdo mm. because you mm. can't set an exam and mark for yourself. Yeah. Mm. You need your partner to mark it for Accountability. So it keeps you now you are alert. When you meet that person, you are alert. So that's very important. Number two thing uh, 
it is to make sure that you communicate. Mm -hmm. Learn to communicate as many times as possible. Mm -hmm. That no, I am with so and so, and about, I'm with so and so. We are talking about this. Mm -hmm. You can even say hi to them. Mm -hmm. It reassures the person. Mm -hmm. And that person that you committed adultery with, mm -hmm. you should never be seen again. Yeah. Or, or even Unless talking, it is a coincidence. talking mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. on phone. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. So you should never be associated again with that person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Business for the sake of your partner, mm -hmm. let that business come to an end because mm -hmm. you, your marriage covenant is greater than what you have. Yes. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so communication is also very important. Mm -hmm. Reassurance, mm -hmm. reassurance that uh, this will never happen again. Mm -hmm. I know it happened and I hurt you, but I assure you through your help mm -hmm. that this will not happen again. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a matter of talking, mm -hmm. talking, mm -hmm. and what you are talking, mm -hmm. uh, you know, corresponds with your actions. Mm -hmm. You talk and what you talk corresponds with your actions and even your self actions, discipline yeah, also is yeah. very, very important mm -hmm. yes you know a self discipline mm -hmm. yes. uh, maybe some other thing i can add up to that mm -hmm. uh, now you know what you did and why you did it mm -hmm. and what cost you to get into that trap mm -hmm. so you decide that uh, i will not attend those parties again that made you to uh, yeah, yes i will not yeah. go without my wife mm -hmm. self discipline mm -hmm. you know i will not go alone when i'm invited wow. i will always have somebody to accompany me in this matter. Mm. You decide that uh, if you're invited, if you not go until midnight. Mm. Self-discipline. Mm. Wow. So you're able to set the boundaries, you're able to discipline yourself, mm. and you you, 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 are, you are able to understand yourself. You get it, eh? Mm. If you do it at the bar, that's when things start happening. Mm -hmm. So why you get drunk at the bar? Yes. Mm -hmm. you get and you're trying to heal from that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So there are things that you must check and see what are the triggers of this action. What happened? Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. what triggers. Me? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Triggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do that kind of a thing. And you avoid that. But I'm talking about now self discipline, mm -hmm. which is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think that is something most of the people they need to cultivate. Mm -hmm. You know, you cultivate self discipline. Discipline. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that I can do, mm -hmm. but I have just put self-discipline mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. I'll never do this, I'll never go here, I'll never accept this kind of offer because of whom I am mm -hmm. and where I want to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think wow. if people put that kind of a measure, uh, even issues about infidelity, I'm telling you, uh, they will go down and they will not have these issues happening. And then you've said something, yeah. ma'am, mm -hmm. about communication. Mm -hmm. yes. Because you find that maybe you've gone out yes. and your wife or your husband is calling to find out where you are and then you keep on cutting the phone or disconnecting. The, the, uh, why, why are you calling me even now a minute? You call me after this person just know where are you, how are you doing, how are you yes. pairing on. It's not that Anna Kuchunga, mm. they're just trying to follow up. And then also, that, that thing of communication, reach someone, tell them I'm now at, at, at the mall. Take even a cafe and send him, I'm at the mall waiting for that person. And now Pastor Mune is now here. Because this person is wondering, are you really going to meet Pastor Mune or what? <laughs> hey, but someone wants to greet you, say hi to my wife. Yeah. My person won't know that why, why I'm telling her to him, say hi, but maybe for us, we know what you are going through. Mm. And then, uh, just I can add before you continue, being open. Being open. Yes. If I had a thousand passwords on my phone, I remove them. Mm. Yes. Yeah, because maybe there is a pattern, there is a fingerprint, there is a, a toe print on, on my phone whereby mm. messages are locked, WhatsApp is locked, Facebook is locked, my messenger cannot be accessed, all calls cannot be, I've diverted so many things. Try to be as open as possible. Mm. If That's someone possible. is calling, I uh, tell him, you can tell him, just speak and tell them I'm not around. Know that, go, 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 it's my call, it's my call. Wait, it's like now <laughs> you are trying to be. To protect you guarding, your, your, you're your, your niche, you are guarding your niche, you don't have to access it. Be very open. Yeah. Tell her. Maybe what I can add that mm. maybe I say I've learned from you probably is uh, openness that mm. you've said. It says it, 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 it keeps you from explaining so many things because already the partner is in the know. Wow. Yeah, so when you set your partner free, they know your friends, they know your conversations. If you are going for a deal or you are going for a seminar, a four day seminar, they know they are part of the whole issue mm. so you will not have to explain so much if you are earning a certain amount keep your partner in the know i used this this is what was cut this was for the bill until there is that 
uh, mm. openness. Yes. Another thing is accountability. People need to have accountability partners. Mm. Mm. Like your spouse can be your accountability partner, or your or your pastor, or your mentor. Mm. There is a a minister, a very popular married minister. I won't mention it the name, mm -hmm. Alisema, when we are here listening to the podcast with you, that he has his phone mm -hmm. connected to his five. pastors, mm -hmm. wives, and eh, somebody. He said five people. He said mm -hmm. that it's to his pastor, his, his mm -hmm. friend, so that they can access his WhatsApp or yeah. phone anyway. So before you reach there's him that out... Called, there's that what you call cloning of the phone. Mm -hmm. So that uh, if I receive any message in my messenger, you, re you can access it and read mm. it, and you can tell me that this, I've seen someone who's coming close to you, it's not it's good. Not so he said, me, if you send me a message, it's not me who's going to read it. Me All of read us. That message. My wife yeah. will read it. Let, so, let, let, let your spouse have access mm. to your Facebook or whatever yeah. account they can log in and out in time. Exactly. Mm. So that accountability also, it will help to remove many gray areas yeah. of explanation. Yeah, I and think, I think the issue of the phone is also a, a, a factor in this. Mm. Uh, there are many people who mm. uh, they will not be comfortable mm. if, if they forgot their phone at home. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi to to go and pick that phone, yeah. because they, they they know what happens around yeah. that yeah. phone. Mm. They're not comfortable, and the wife is with the, the other party. I mean, with the wife or with the husband. Mm. That tells you that there's a lot that is happening with that gadget. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I think if you say there's somebody who's been following you up there, and they are in for uh, cheating, mm. I, I think why can't you also allow your wife or your husband to answer some of those texts, those calls? <laughs> <laughs> if it's nothing really yeah, yeah. you are yeah. hiding yeah. 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 unless you are interested in mm. them <laughs> yes she's following me up and I feel mm. that I think I talk to her and say hi, hi. Mm. how are you oh this is the wife of uh, Salano mm. you want to talk to my husband yes oh he is here you can talk to him mm. he's a story at the yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. he'll stop calling <laughs> exactly yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes. So I think you are guiding yourself mm. exactly. I, I think, I, I think just, just to say, just to add a personal testimony, is like me, I'm always, my WhatsApp is always on my laptop also. Mm -hmm. And I'm always leaving my laptop in the house most of the time. So sometimes when I leave the house where there's no Wi-Fi, my phone is always off, mm. uh, off, off net. So messages will be coming because my laptop is in the house and it's in the She'll always be mm. uh, yeah, there is that replying them. I, I think also, as we said, bring up upward affected me so much because as if you could come home past five, mm. you'd be beaten so hard. Mm -hmm. And that guitar, so I still have always have it until now. When I see darkness. I feel so bad, hey, or she'll, and the, she'll not have an issue, but she, I always, I'm coming I'm to Michelle Mahali, uh, there's something that is holding me up, and it disturbs me, I'll not have peace in that place, until I find myself home, so it, it really affected me, because I see, it's already five minutes here, talker, it, but I know she not beat me, but I just feel that, you should be home yeah. on time. Yeah, I sh I should it's be home. a good culture, mm. and so, I think most of the the nini, the adulthood behaviors mm. are things we picked from our upbringing, the yes. first ten years. And the only thing we can do now, darling, mm. maybe probably under mom and dad, mm. is people to and learn and relearn. Those that are not serving mm. us, we do away with them. Mm. Those that are serving, we continue. Like this one of coming home early, you see, it's now pro, um, proactive. Yeah. It's helping. It's mm. very but kuna mutu anasema, mimi nililelewa hivi. Tuna, tuna kulanga uh, midnight. Na lala kidogo na muka midnight na kulu ugali. You know, <laughs> that is not uh, helping. Yeah. Or I used to see my dad do this and that. And yeah. it is a toxic trait. So, mm. Your final words, ma'am. No, I just wanted to say that one can heal from any infidelity. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need a lot of uh, you need a lot of uh, support, mm -hmm. emotional support, psychological support, because there is always a vacuum. Mm -hmm. And then we said nature does not allow vacuum. Mm -hmm. So there is a vacuum emotionally between a husband and a wife. Mm -hmm. That's why there is all this infidelity coming mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And so you need to identify the root cause of all these things, mm -hmm. because when you deal with the root cause then it's very easy to avoid this thing from reoccurring. Mm -hmm. And then another thing also, learn to speak out. Give feedback to one another. Mm -hmm. If there's something that you're not comfortable, create that 
environment as a husband and a wife that you can freely tell your partner what you feel you're not comfortable with and allow them to be mm. you know to be who they feel without you feeling they should be like you i think one of the greatest mistakes we do as couples mm. is trying to transform our our spouses mm. to be like us mm. because pastor monene can never be like me i can never be like him but there's a way we can meet mm -hmm. in our thinking in our emotions so that being allowing him to be mm -hmm. is very very important mm -hmm. as we have said please it is important for you to allow your spouse to uh, to access your phone mm -hmm. this issue of saying don't touch your fo your husband's phone that one is is, is it may look fashionable mm -hmm. but it is not profitable mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. why would i not, not look why would pastor more not check my phone and vice versa he can go in and do anything he can even get a pesa if he wants and mm -hmm. vice versa mm -hmm. so these issues of putting passwords your phone is is a no-go zone is already you are cheating mm -hmm. just ah. by the fact that you have put passwords you're already cheating because it is psychologically affecting your partner ask yes. them mm -hmm. are you comfortable can you ask your spouse are you comfortable with all these passwords are put on my laptop mm. my phones they'll tell you no and if only that you have never discussed that mm. nobody would feel comfortable because if i can give you my body you know for sex mm. why would you feel that i should not uh, access your your pin your what all these things mm. on your phone mm. uh, because why what are, what is that that i'm doing mm. that i don't want pastor monene to mm. to see so the minute you become open just as Salano has said, mm. with Betty, the minute you become open mm. with each other on everything, mm. the more you live a very, yani a stress-free life. Mm. You don't feel like there are things that are hidden. Even if your husband has a child outside there with a baby mama, you should be aware about that. Mm. There's nothing. You need to have all this information so that through, if something happens, you know what to do with mm -hmm. that information. So what are we saying? Yes, you can heal. But you need people to walk the journey with you mm -hmm. and avoid going back to your past because mm -hmm. infidelity leaves very negative memories. But with the time you are able to heal mm -hmm. and then you heal through forgiving one another mm -hmm. and not condemning each other mm -hmm. and reminding each other of their past. Mm -hmm. I want to say this, God does not consult your past mm -hmm. to determine your present and your future. Who are you? To keep consulting the past of your spouse mm. because of what they did if god does not do so mm. so can we copy god mm. let's follow the, the godly pattern mm. of, of moving on though you may remember but move on mm. and forgive this person and give them another chance mm. to become the best husband and the best wife mm. they can ever be wow thank you oh, so yes. much the, the most important person to forgive in your life is your spouse your wife your husband mm. And I know we forgive people on a daily basis. It could be your driver, your cashier, mm. you know, your secretary. And if you can forgive other people who do a lot of things, like if you're a driver, you're the Lord. People will always do nasty things on the road. Yes. Mm. You can't be stopping your car now you want to, to <laughs> beat everybody because of what they have done on the road. Mm. You are a fool, mm. you know. Mm. So if you are forgiving other people on a daily basis, why not forgive the person mm -hmm. who matters most and that is your wife mm -hmm. in this world um, one of the things you cannot live without it is forgiveness mm -hmm. and in the case you happen to jump out of that marriage then the bible is very clear don't marry don't get married mm -hmm. until when the other person mm -hmm. is dead are you ready for that dry spell? I don't think so. So forgive your, uh, your husband, forgive your wife. For the that is the best thing you spell. can do. Mm. Then think about the consequence of what will happen to your children. Mm. You know, the cost and all that. Yeah. I mean, the stories will begin now explaining what happened. Mm. I mean, you, we are what we are because other people also gave us room. Wow. They accommodated us. Mm. So why not forgive uh, your husband and your wife and you learn to move on sure. it is the greatest thing that you can do while you are alive forgiveness is better said than done but it is doable mm. you can do it because we are not going to define determine the destiny of our families determine the destiny of our children just by one time mistake our spouses made mm. you are going to forgive them because also you you are forgiven if you are a believer like me, you are forgiven by God. Mm. Christ has forgiven you so many things yeah. before and even 
those that will still do. So you are going to forgive your partner. And those that always say that, I forgave him, but I cannot sleep with them. If you are serious about rebuilding that home, you're going to sleep with that person. <laughs> and the person who did the, 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 the deed, you are going to reassure the person and you're going to walk the journey together. Mama said that you guys can heal. Mm. You guys will need a third party. But the first step of healing is acceptance on the person who is offended and, and uh, acceptance on the, guy, on the person who did the, the mistake. Yeah. But we are not going to determine uh, people with finality of their mistakes. We say this is your identity, no. Mm. It will take grace, it will take you allowing God to work through your home because you cannot work on it on your own by yourself. Allow a more powerful force than you, which is love and love of God. So if you're on the journey of healing, may God give you grace. It is doable. Many other homes that you see thriving, at our celebrities, if you sit down with them, they will tell you there is a point their trust was shaken, but they rebuilt it. Mm -hmm. There is no perfect person. There is no perfect home. There's no Just perfect home. marriage. There is no perfect marriage. Mm -hmm. Just work on your home, and may God see you through. Yeah. I'll say that uh, for those who always get forgiveness from their spouses, if your spouse forgave you, always assure them. If you say that I'll never do this thing again, keep your word. Don't say that, don't take advantage of the forgiveness you are being given. Because even Christ forgave other things, like you're taking Christ back to the cross. If you are forgiven, accept you made a mistake and promise never to go again back to your vomit. <clears throat> also about being open with your with your spouse on the matter of phones. I found a spouse, spouse whereby they say that uh, I, he doesn't, I, I don't know his password. Neither does he know mine, so I'm fine. The moment find that both of you are fine, both of you are fine that I can't access his phone, he can't access mine, that all of you are now cheaters. All of you are having secrets. You can only be comfortable with your husband not showing your password if you know you're also hiding something. Mm -hmm. But as long as you are open, it will disturb you. You will want to know what is he hiding. Mm -hmm. Let us be open to each other so that we can be able to heal very fast. So that we don't begin hurting other people in, in this life. So until next time, this is Naked and, and Not, not ashamed. ashamed Show. Yeah.